as we saw in that video, all a differential equation is is you have a rate of change. You have a derivative. You have dx dy, or whatever rate that is involved, like in sometimes they have position with respect to time, whatever it is, that makes up a differential equation. It's basically a derivative equation. Sort of the words are the same. An ordinary differential equation is an equation involving an independent variable x and a dependent variable y and derivatives. So here are some examples of differential equations. The equation itself has a derivative or a second derivative in it. So something happens and you have that as your starting point. So what this, uh, where this shows up in real life is rates of change have been measured and you want to figure other things from them. So your starting point is with a differential equation and then you can solve backwards using the antiderivative or sometimes you need to move forward and find a second derivative. We call the order of a differential equation by the highest derivative that you see present. So if you see a y double prime, that would be a second order differential equation. If you just see here a y prime, that's a first order differential equation. So what you'll look through is you'll look through the equation and look for the highest derivative that you see. Here I see a dy dx, its order is still 1. Looking through this one, I see an x cubed, but that's not a derivative. The highest derivative I see here is the y double prime, so it is a second order differential equation. Ooh. We have three of them there. Did anybody else think that looked like an m for a second? Did anybody want to write the m order? Kind of looks like an m. Italicized in everything. But it's supposed to be a triple prime. Okay. Notation-wise, there is a difference between, see how we have the d squared y over dx squared? That's a second derivative. This dy dx cubed does not mean, so just notation wise, dy dx cubed does not mean d cubed y over dx cubed. So its order is only 2. The last one, we have a dy dx, that squared doesn't mean d2y over dx squared. It just means the first derivative squared. So this one only has an order of 1. Anybody else notice the screen flipping? That's bad. Screen flickering is potentially bad. That could mean that the multi-expensive light bulb is about to burn. I don't know if multi-expensive is a word, but I want it's expensive. The exponent of oh, this is. The exponent of the highest order derivative in a differential equation is called the degree. Can we just do this? No, a little bit different. So we'll state the degree of each of the differential. So order would be one, degree would be one. Order would be one, degree would be one. Here, the degree is 1, despite it being an order of 2. Because we have the second derivative there, but we only have the second derivative once. Same thing here. The degree is 1. We have the third derivative. 
but the third derivative happens only once. It's not until the last question here. This one still has a degree of one. The first derivative has a degree of three, but the highest one is the d squared y. It has a degree of only one. It's only in this last one that you have a degree of two. So in the same way that we sort of think of polynomial functions, right? If you have an x squared function, you would say it's a quadratic function. That describes it. Quadratic functions have a degree of two because the highest exponent is an x squared. <coughs> So the order part is sort of describing what you have, like describing quadratic functions, cubic functions. That's kind of like what the order is describing. The degree is saying, well, what exponent do you have of that highest one? Same thing as our polynomial functions that we dealt with before. So try these four on your own. I'll put up the answers in a sec. All right, how did you do? Order two, degree one. Order three, degree two. Order three, degree one. And finally, order two, degree one. So we call the working backwards from a differential equation to f of x, the particular solution, on an interval i. So we can use our derivative <coughs> to figure this out. So here we have our differential equation. That differential equation, order to degree one. You could have that equation and work backwards. Or you could take your original equation and work forwards to see if it would be a possibility. So if I have my original equation here, and I find the derivative, then if I find the second derivative, does that match up with the differential equation? Yes. Because if I substitute this 18x into the d2y dx squared, everything works out perfectly to be 0. So that original equation is a solution to the differential equation. Question? Are we going to have, well, this is unrelated. It's unrelated? But All right. Are we going to have like a, a whiteboard party? Here's our differential equation. Apparently, y, prime, y double prime plus 4 should equal 48x squared. Could this be a possibility for the equation? So we make y equal to that equation. Find our first derivative. Find our second derivative. Plug that in to the y prime to see if it works. And it does, so it is a solution. 